So today, this is going to be our fourth video in our slider series. So today we are going to be making roast beef sliders. But before we dive into today's recipe, if you're new, uh, please remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that way you don't miss any of the videos. And for my returning viewers, I want to thank you for supporting my channel, which means the world to me. So let's grab our aprons, get our ingredients together, and make some roast beef sliders. For our roast beef sliders, we are going to need the following. Slider rolls, spicy brown mustard, minced, dehydrated minced onions, some cheddar cheese, some butter, and deli sliced roast beef. So this is going to be one of our easier slider recipes because there is really very little work to be done or cooking to be done. So the first thing we're going to do is put our sliders into an oven safe baking dish. Then we are going to take our roast beef, which I had them slip, thinly slice this for me. And we're going to spread this over our slider rolls. And this is roughly a pound of roast beef, which we want to use on our sliders. So now that we've got our roast beef all across our sliders, I mean, spread it over our slider bottoms, we're going to turn around and we're going to add in our cheese. Yeah, that should be fine. Let me put this out a little bit. Move this out of here. And now, oops, we are going to take our mustard and add this onto our slider tops. And you don't have to use the spicy brown mustard. You can use whatever you like. Um, I know some people would use like a horsey sauce or possibly an army sauce. But I prefer the uh, bite of the spicy mustard. And you can also use the Dijon as well. And now we're going to put these on top of our cheese and roast beef. And I need to grab some melted butter. And to our melted butter, we are going to add in our dry dehydrated onions. We're going to mix that in. And then we are going to spread the onion, dehydrated onion butter mixture over the tops of the sliders. So now we're going to place these in a 350 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until the, the uh, tops are nice and brown and the cheese is melted.
Okay, so our sliders have been in the oven for about 20 minutes. And as you can see, they're nice and crispy. So now we are going to cut this. Ouch, these are hot. And like I said, this is one of the easiest slider recipes I've run across. Ouch. It's nice and hot. And there we go. So I hope everyone has enjoyed the video. And as mentioned, um, this is the fourth video in my slider series. And um, we have one more to go. So I'm hoping that everyone enjoyed the video. Um, remember, be nice and be kind. It could make someone's day. And as always, thank you for your support of my channel. And until next time, enjoy cooking in the kitchen.